a good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. Okay. You want to get up there with Looney? Your best friend? Yeah, you're the dream team. Okay, no, but for real, the dream team is Team Sailor Moon, am I right, fam? Excuse me, Blackie. <laughs> Stop rubbing your face all over the camera. <sighs> hey fam, what's up, it's April. Welcome to another video. Today, we are, where's, 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 where, oh, here. We are doing my TBR for the Sailor Moonathon. I am literally so excited about this readathon because Sailor Moon was my life as a kid, along with Pokemon and Avatar. But basically, this is a 20 day long readathon hosted and created by B from Bookish Pisces. And basically, there are teams for each Sailor Scout and there's challenges, there's team books, there's team hosts. It's just this whole awesome shebang that I'm so excited for. So I decided and requested to be on Team Sailor Moon because if you didn't know, my dog Luna was actually named after this character. Fun fact. So because I have my very own Luna and because I relate to Sailor Moon, on another level because one she cries all the time two she wants to sleep all the time and three she's obsessed with boys which was me i'm basically sailor moon so anyway let's just get into the tbr and the challenges and what i plan to read so the first challenge is to read the team book for team sailor moon and the team book for team sailor moon is the star touched queen by roshni chokshi i got this out from the library i've never read it before i hardly know anything about it other than that it has beautiful lyrical writing and it is good I don't know. <laughs> Maya is cursed. With a horoscope that promises a marriage of death and destruction, she has earned only the scorn and fear of her father's kingdom. Great! Anyway, I do weekly reading vlogs, so you'll be able to hear all of my thoughts on all of these books when I read them. So sorry if I don't go into much detail here, but there you go. That's book number one. All right, challenge number two is Sailor Moon. Reread a favorite. And for this, I actually... Actually, for two of these challenges, I broke my almost three month long book buying ban uh, to pre-order two books that come out on the 14th of May, which buying two books over the course of three months is okay. I'm fine with that. Um, I really wanted these books. Even though money's been tight lately, you know, you should still be able to buy your favorite things sometimes. So. I pre-ordered Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. Now, I read this literally this month and I think I'm gonna reread it when it comes out on the 14th of May because I am desperate to annotate and highlight and tab it because it is one of my favorite books of the year. So I have a feeling that will be my choice for this challenge. Oh, it's just so good. Enemies to Lovers between the first son of the United States and the Prince of England. Fictional characters, of course, but set in an alternate reality where a woman uh, became president in 2016. It's amazing. The next challenge is Sailor Mercury. Read a book that will challenge you. And for this, I decided because every month I'm reading one of the books that has been on my TBR the longest. So I have a list of the 12 books and each month I read one. So I figured classics always challenge me, mainly because of the writing style and usually it takes a little while to get used to it. So I decided to read one of the classics on that list and that is The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte. I love the Bronte sisters, but I have yet to read anything by Anne and I've heard this is like one of the gateway books into feminist literature, so I'm very excited to read it. I believe it follows a woman whose husband is abusive, but I have the audiobook of this, so I figured this would be a good pick for this challenge and for this readathon. Okay, the next challenge is Sailor Venus. Pick a book with a character that has special abilities, and for this, I'm doing my Cassandra Clare reread of the month, and that will be. Clockwork Angel. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be finally 
diving back into my favorite Shadow Hunter series, and I'm not going to tell you which character has the ability because spoilers, but a character in this has a special ability. So I will be doing a special read with me annotation vlog for this book in May, so you can look out for that. The next challenge is Tuxedo Mask read a romance. And for this I decided to pick up the next book in a series that I have put on the back burner for a while now and I think I really need to get back into this series so I can finally finish it. And that is A Lady by Midnight by Tessa Dare. This is book three in the Spindle Cove series which I love. I love Tessa Dare's historical romance novels because they are feminist and like modern and they don't feature a lot of the annoying, like, possessive male tropes. This is all about women who go after what they want, and her books feature a lot of consent and healthy relationships. So I'm excited to continue on with this series. The next challenge is Chibi Usa, read a novella. And for this, I'm just going to read the novella that comes after that romance book, which is Beauty and the Blacksmith, which I have on my Kindle. Handy dandy Kindle. <laughs> Alright, next is Sailor Mars. Read a book that relates to fire in some way. And for this, I'm reading a book that I have wanted to read for so long. And that is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyan. And this is an Asian-inspired fantasy about a girl who is one of the king's, like concubines and she falls in love with one of the other concubines and I believe she has some sort of magic power and the king is like a, a demon guy. Sounds great but I've just heard so many amazing things about this. I've been wanting to read it for so long and now is finally the time. All right the next challenge Sailor Jupiter who fun fact was always my favorite Sailor, Sailor Scout growing up. We have read a book that is over 400 pages. For this, I'm reading another book that I've been meaning to read for such a long time and that I'm so excited for, and that is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. This is a dual timeline mystery, and it follows this girl who goes to this boarding school, and there was a mysterious kidnapping that took place in the 1930s, and history seems to be repeating itself in the present day, and she has made it her goal to solve both of these mysteries. It also has anxiety rep, and all of those things combined just make me so excited to read this book. So I decided to choose this for that challenge. Next we have Sailor Saturn, read a standalone. And for this, I'm reading the other book that I broke my three month long book buying ban for. And that is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. I love Christina Lauren so much. This is their newest book coming out on May 14th. And it's all about, it's like an enemies to lovers, um, about this girl whose sister, uh, got married and everyone had this seafood buffet at the wedding but her sister and the groom's brother were the only two that didn't eat the seafood buffet and guess what everyone gets violently ill from this seafood buffet so now there is a honeymoon to Hawaii up for grabs so uh, even though they hate each other's guts they decide to take this honeymoon trip and they have to pretend that they are newlyweds it's gonna be great! Alright, next we have Sailor Uranus. Read a book with a gorgeous cover. And for this, I just recently got this book in this month's Owl Crate box and I am obsessed with the cover. It is so gorgeous and that is Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan. This is about a girl who can speak to the gods and also two other male characters with questionable morals and personalities. Seems legit. I've heard great things about this. Really keen. Love this cover. Next is Sailor Neptune. Read a contemporary. And for this we've got Royals by Rachel Hawkins, which has now had the name and cover changed to Prince Charming. But this follows a girl who goes to her sister's wedding and her sister just happens to be marrying a fictional Scottish prince and I believe she might fall in love with 
another Scottish prince? I don't know. But I really wanted to read this because the second book is coming out really really soon or is already out and it's female female and I've heard it's amazing. So I wanted to check out the first book so that if I like it then I can check out the next book because I've heard amazing things. Okay then we have Sailor Pluto read a dystopian and for this I'm going to be reading Undying by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spoonard. This is the sequel and conclusion to this sci-fi dystopian duology. Uh, the first book is kind of like a mix between Indiana Jones and space, I don't know. But yeah, I was sent this by the publisher and have yet to read it, which is horrible because it came out a few months ago. Um, but the audiobook is on script, so I'm hoping to read this. And the last challenge is to read the Readathon group book. And that is called Beds Are For Flowers. I don't know anything about it other than it's middle grade, fantasy and short. But I think this is a requirement for the readathon. So even though I don't really want to read it that much, uh, I guess we're going to read it anyway. So those are all the challenges. However, I have a ton of books out from the library at the moment. So I figured what I was going to do is put the titles of all of these books and all of my library books in a jar and just pick from it and read whatever the hecky heck I can because a lot of these library books can count towards those challenges too. A lot of these can be doubled up um, so we'll just see how many books I manage to read and we can double up on challenges if need be. But the books that I have out from the library, I'm not gonna go into synopsises, synopses and everything. I'm just gonna tell you what books I have out. So we have Seven Days of You by Cecilia Vaness. The Summer of Us, also by Cecilia Vaness. Watch Us Rise by Renee Watson and Ellen Hagen. The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. Five Centimeters Per Second by Makoto Shinkai. And Art by Yukiko Sank. Psych. That's Not What Happened by Cody Keplinger. The Lost and Found by Krachina Leno. The Afterward by E.K. Johnston. Notes from My Captivity by Kathy Parks. This Monstrous Thing by Mackenzie Lee. And My Almost Flawless Tokyo Dream Life. So there's the library books. There's the official TBR, but you will just have to stay tuned to my vlogs and my wrap up to see what I actually read. But anyways, make sure you check out B. If you want to do this readathon, I will leave the link to the Twitter and sign up page down below. If you are joining in on this readathon, let me know what team you're on and let me know what books you plan to read. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you soon with a new one. Goodbye!